Suppose you begin saving for your retirement by depositing $2,000 per year in an IRA. If the interest rate is 7.5%, how much will you have in 40 years? An IRA stands for Individual Retirement Account. An IRA allows you to save money for retirement and uh, deposit amounts that are taken from your income prior to paying taxes. So if your employer, for example, doesn't offer, offer a 401k, it is a very, uh, it's a very good idea to open an IRA and start saving for retirement. So here uh, you are saving $2,000 uh, per year and you're investing in an account that gives you 7.5% and you want to know how much you have in 40 years. So clearly this is a future value um, uh, calculation. So here, so 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on until year 40, okay? Uh, you want to know how much you have here, so you want to know how much uh, is the future value. Uh, you deposit each period $2,000, okay? So 2000 and here I'm going to input it as a negative number because you are making those deposits. So they, they cost you, take money from your, uh, from your paycheck and you put it into this IRA account, uh, which is a cash outflow to you. And you're hoping that you have a, a large sum at the end of four years and that would be your cash inflow at the end of, four, uh, of 40 years. Um, and so uh, this is an annuity. This is an example of an ordinary annuity. But here we're trying to determine the future value. We know that the future value of an ordinary annuity is basically C times 1 plus R to the power T minus 1 over R. And here we need to identify our variables and, and, uh, and uh, input these variables into the calculator. C is basically 2000 this is the amount that you're paying every period, so it's 2000 The R is the interest rate, so the 2000 that is deposited is yearly, so the R and the T can also have a uh, yearly frequency. In this case, the R, or the interest rate, is 7.5%. Uh, we know that we, we uh, input it into the, uh, into the formula as a decimal, so it would be 0 0.075. So 2000 times 1 plus 0. 0.075 to the power of t, and in this case t is 40 years, so it would be to the power of 40, minus 1 divided by 0 0.075. And then you close the bracket. And all we have to do here is uh, make our calculations. We can uh, get the calculation using the, uh, the financial cal calculator. So you clear your work and we start by calculating whatever is inside the bracket and then we time it by 2000. So 1 plus 0 0.075 equals to 1.075 and we raise it to the power of 40 minus 1, and then we divide by 0 0.075, okay? This is the number that is inside the bracket, and now we just multiply by 2,000, okay? This gives us a, a future value of 454,513.03 or 0 0.04. So this is the future value of our investment. At the end of 40 years, we'll end up having 454,513.04. We can also get this through the financial calculator. And here we'll be computing for the future value. So um, 2,000 or negative 2,000 will be the PMT. The I over Y is, um, is 7.5. So 7.5 is your I over Y interest rate per year. And uh, N is 40, so 40 is your N. Compute future value. Okay, and let's see what we get. So the first thing we do is clear our work. So second, FV. Second, CEC. 2,000 negative, that is your payment. 7.5, that is the I over Y. 40 is your N. And then you compute future value and is similar that well, uh, to the number that we have previously found.